it to the dead. It's been a long eight months without basketball, but we are back. Of course, a long time away without any sports. But the Wolfpack have something to prove. They were not able to finish last season. They qualified for the NAI National Tournament. And they were poised to make a run just as the team they are playing today, Xavier, was. This should be a good matchup between two top 20 teams in the country. The Loyola Wolfpack, 23 and 10 last year, facing off against Xavier, who was 27 and 6. The Gold Rush, also from New Orleans, just a few minutes away. Let's get this one started. Miles Burns gets the tip, and here we go. Matt Matura, Andrew Fava are the guards for Loyola. Fava went down with an injury last year, but he had a hot start to the season as Matura is going to be called to the moving screen. Zach Reitzel, Miles Burns, they have been superstars since they got to Loyola a few years ago. They are juniors this year. Two-time NAI All-America honorable mention for both of them, both seasons that they've been here so far. And then TJ Smith, the senior, he is also poised for success. There's a transfer for Xavier. Trenton Mitchell, number 14, got his own miss, put it in. TJ Jones, number 11, Ed Carter, number 5. Those are the guards as TJ Smith lays it in for the Wolfpack. Rayshon Mart, the MVP of the Xavier team, number 3. Him and Kevin Norman, number 24, are the forwards. And then Trenton Mitchell, he's playing the five. These are two evenly matched teams, I would say. As that shot goes in, TJ Jones, number 11, with the three-pointer. Last year, these two teams faced off twice. They split the season series. And it was really competitive in both games. 91-89, a victory for Xavier at their convocation center as Miles Burns. He hits a three, assisted by Matura. And that could be huge if Miles Burns starts draining triples. Last year, Xavier took the first matchup. That ended a hot 10-0 start for the Wolfpack last year. They got up to number three ranked team in the country before Xavier <laughs> knocked that crown off their heads. But the Loyola got him back as a moving screen is called on Mitchell. Xavier took, or Loyola rather, took the game at the den last year, 69-66. So both games decided by three or fewer points. Tie game, 5-5. After the moving screen, foul offensive called on Xavier. Going to see if the Wolfpack can take advantage. Right still under the basket, no good. Rebound goes to Xavier. Two teams have been cross-town rivals for a long time. Miles Burns with the block. Right still picks it up. And Burns drives, gets fouled, no good on the shot. As we know, Miles Burns is dangerous coming down the floor every time. And as Wright's still slow to get up. Just making sure the floor is dry. Two shots for Miles Burns. As he looks to give the Wolfpack the lead. Free throw is not his strong suit last season. Shot under 50% at just about 46. And he misses the first one. TJ Smith checks out of the game, and this is an interesting lineup. The three All-America players as Miles Burns misses two at the line. Tim Cameron, Miles Burns, Zach Reitzel. And then Andrew Fava and Matt Matura, the two sharpshooters on the outside. So Wrightsill is essentially playing center right now, matched up against Mitchell, who hits a hook shot. The 
so far he's taking advantage of this Wolfpack team who's not as big as the opponents. Right, so listed at six foot seven, but started off his career listed at six six. Here's Matura with the three. Good. Wolfpack have not missed a three-pointer so far. They're two for two. It's an 8-7 advantage early for Loyola. In their first home game, their first game of the season, they have had three games canceled so far, either canceled or postponed as Cameron gets the reward. Burns is going to drive. He trips, and the ball goes out of bounds. Three games canceled so far due to a variety of reasons, as everything is messed up in 2020, of course. Season was scheduled to start on October 30th. And then a hurricane hit. Right in the middle of a pandemic. So the Wolfpack are looking to get that not only their first win, but their first game in general here. Three-pointer is good. Kevin Norman pulls up. And Xavier retakes the lead. Ball is stolen. It's Norman again. He's going to pull, pull up. No, he wanted to. This is a long three. No good by Ed Carter, number five. And Zach Reitzel sporting a new hairstyle, but a same old game. Gets the transition Euro step bucket. Once again, a tie game, 10 10. Now, Xavier, a little less rusty. They've already had two games so far this season. They played Southeastern Baptist, won by about 18, and played William Carey, feather, fellow Southern States opponent, as an offensive foul was called. And Loyola will take over. William Carey in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, not too far away. We will see them in the den later this season on January 26th. Wolfpack will also see Southeastern Baptist in just a few weeks. Two weeks, exactly. On November 21st. It's a two-game weekend. Cameron gets it inside to Reitzel. Ball moving around. Andrew Fava gets it <laughs> poked out, but a good heads-up play from Reitzel. He's got four points, and Wolfpack take another lead, 12-10. Three-pointer, no good. Miles Burns with the rebound. Burns, layup no good, and he'll have to go to the line. He really wanted that layup. Looking for an and one, but he will have to settle for two free throws. And this is one area where the Wolfpack as a team struggled last season. They would certainly like to be better from the line this year. As a team, they shot just about 61%. As Burns hits the first one. Got a home friendly bounce. Second one, also good. Maybe that'll get Miles Burns in a rhythm. He leads the team so far, five points. And it's the largest lead for the Wolfpack so far, 14 to 10. This is already a fun game. Both teams going at it, trading blows. Ball moving around for Xavier. Can't find something they want. Wolfpack defense is working well right now. Almost turned over. It'll be a mid-range shot banked in. And I don't think that's the look he was <laughs> trying to get. That's Makai Richard, number two.
Cameron to Wrightsville. Burns. Here's a dunk. You already knew what he was trying to get with that one. Miles Burns, the supplier of many highlight plays in his first two years with the Wolfpack as that is going to be a foul. Andrew Fava, the grad student, who hasn't shot the ball yet, but he was very important to the offense before going down with a knee injury. As he might check out of the game. Nope, Matt Matura is checking out of the game. Fava will stay in. Tensley Aldridge checking in for the first time. And Tensley's an interesting case. Was injured for most of 2018-19. Only played four games in his sophomore season. Last year, played in 30. Had six starts, a comeback season. And you hope he can continue that success he had last year. Three-pointer is good. And Xavier inches back into this one. Rayshon Mart, preseason All-American on Xavier's squad who returns most of their team from last year. Of course, a very good team. They won the Gulf Coast Athletic Conference. As here is a good layup missed. And good job on defense. Zach Reitzel, Tim Cameron. Fava gets it to Aldridge, who gets fouled. Blocking foul is called. And a quick two fouls on Corey Wells, number 20. Brother of Cameron Wells, number 12. Right still inside, good. Good find from Tensley Aldridge, who passed it in. Right still now with six points to lead the team. Here's Makai Richard. Right still with the rebound. He's everywhere on the court so far. Aldridge fakes the three, spins, mid-range, no good. Whoa. Hard fall from two players just now. Right still looks like he's okay. Kevin Norman on the other side, number 24, he's okay too. And it's going to be an offensive foul. As attempts to leapfrog other players are indeed illegal. Eighteen to fifteen, Loyola with an early lead. Milan Mejia is in there for the first time, and he fouls Richard on pretty much his first action. And it's going to be a media timeout, the first break of the game, and I think we all need one. Whew! Close game so far, fun game so far. First time out of the game, we'll take it with him. We'll be right back on the Wolfpack Network, live from the den.
Out of the timeout, Xavier returns with the ball. And this is, that was former Loyola player Cam Dumas. As that ball sails high off the backboard and into the hands of the Wolfpack. Aldridge, good floater. Gives the Wolfpack a five point advantage for the first points of the game, Tensley Aldridge. Cam Dumas is on the SSAC all rookie team, or all freshman team rather, same thing. Wearing number zero now, he was number 25 last season. He wore number one in a Wolfpack uniform. Three-pointer is out, and that should have been a foul on Dumas. Instead, it'll be an offensive board. Dumas driving, kicking. Three-pointer is drained by Kevin Norman, the transfer number 24, who so far is having a pretty good game, six points for him. Eddie Burgess in there for the Wolfpack. He gets the runner to go. Takes a tumble as well. And the first points for the sophomore from Pflugerville, Texas. And the tallest player on the team. I think he's the tallest player on either roster right now. And he could use that size to his advantage. And as that ball goes in, and it is another basket for Kevin Norman. The game's leader right now in points with eight. There's the freshman Mejia. He's the only newcomer on the team. Everyone else on this Loyola squad has been here. If the team lost no players, unless you count Josh Lini, who is still on the roster, but he is currently in Australia. Hope to see him back in the spring. But of course, in the pandemic, you never know. Second foul on Kevin Norman, and that could be pretty big for the Wolfpack if he ends up with three. Eddie Burgess with the free throw. And a lot of players coming in now for Xavier. Norman's going to check out. And I'm sure Coach Stacy Hollowell and the Wolfpack likes to see that. For Loyola right now, Miles Burns, number three. Tim Cameron, number one. Eddie Burgess. Two for two at the line. He's wearing number 11. He checks out for Terry Smith, Jr. And the guards, Tensley Aldridge, Milan Mejia, number 21. Twenty-four twenty. Wolfpack have a lead right now, as they have for the last several minutes. Three-pointer, no good. That was Gary Smith. And here's Tim Cameron. Burns. Cameron inside to Smith. He gets fouled. He got hacked. Wolfpack now are already in the bonus. With nine minutes left, they will be shooting free throws the rest of the way or at least one free throw. This, of course, is an area that T.J. Smith has struggled in in the past, but he has put in the work, and you can see it. Saw him earlier shooting free throws and shooting mid-range shots, looking to expand his range beyond just the cusp of the basket. Two for two at the line for T.J. Smith. His first points of the game. And the Wolfpack, if they could win the free throw battle, that would be huge. As that foul is going to go on Burns. Hand check. While it was legal in the Michael Jordan days, hand checking is not allowed now. Can't impede the progress 
of someone with your arms. That's the point guard, TJ Jones. He's going to get it out to a deep three-point shooter. He misses. Burns get the rebound. And here's Tim Cameron. He's going to try to back down Jones, and it's working pretty well. The shot missed. And Xavier's probably happy that he settled for the jump shot there. Bucket goes in for the gold rush. Down to a four-point lead once again for the pack. And an offensive foul It's going to go on Cameron. That's the third instance of a moving screen we've seen in this game alone. And so now each team is in the bonus, seven fouls. Tim Cameron picked up his second foul, and so he'll head to the bench. Cameron, not the best game, no points. One assist, two rebounds, two fouls. Wolfpack are so far doing a good job of shutting down Rayshon Mart, at least keeping him in check. That's going to be a two-pointer, no good. Another two-pointer on, that one rolls in. He's in and out, Corey Wells, number 20. Picks up his first points of the game, and here's TJ Smith. Gets it to Matura, and he is wide open. No good. Another shot in and out, and this time not back in. As Xavier fought for the rebound amongst themselves, it'll be Loyola Ball. T.J. Smith comes out, despite what was really a good pass there. Eddie Bird just comes back in. Really, he didn't appear in many games last year in a big role. He did appear in most of the games in general, just a few minutes, though, in 28 games. Here's Aldridge. And he gets the bucket. Four points for Tinsley Aldridge so far. 28-24 Wolfpack. Burgess down low. And he did a good job on defense. And that time, not good enough. That was a great shot. Gary Smith. And Wolfpack... Gonna try this again. Burgess gets it stolen. Wasn't paying attention. And <laughs> Xavier wasn't paying attention either. Good play from Mejia. As Aldridge gets it to the corner. Matt Matura, 4-3, it's good. Uh, Matt Matura, he's hit two for his three pointers. And the Wolfpack stretch that advantage back out to five points. 31 26. Cam Dumas gets it to the corner. And a travel. A few subs come in for Xavier. They've had a revolving door of a rotation so far. For the Wolfpack, Miles Burns is back in. Matt Matura, Milan Mejia, Tensley Aldridge. They have three guards in there, and then Burns, who's just about everywhere, along with Eddie Berger. Aldridge wanted to shoot, gets it to Burgess. He gets a hook, and that's in. Seen him practicing that shot as well as the Wolfpack, their largest lead of the game, nine points for the sophomore, Eddie Burgess. Three-pointer. No good off the front rim. And that one is put back in, Rayshon Mark. He's up to five points. 
He was our leading scorer last year, 16 and a half points a game. Now Matt Matura, running point guard. And he gets it stolen from the pass to Aldridge. And a miss on the layup. Kesley should have gotten back into play. This is McKee Richard, McKay Richard rather. Just blew the layup, but it was a good job from Rayshon Mart coming back in. Securing the rebound and getting the layup. Down to a three point lead for Loyola. It's the second media timeout after the call timeout from Stacy Hollowell, coach of the Wolfpack. In his seventh season with the team, we'll take a timeout with him. And we'll be right back on the Wolfpack Network live from the den. Back after the timeout, Wolfpack had a quick break to sort out some issues as the issues have not been sorted out yet. A jump ball is called and Xavier, they'll take possession. Tensley Aldridge with his four points, three assists, but a few turnovers as well. Here's Mart, gets it to the three-point line and looked like a double dribble. And instead, it's gonna be a layup for Ed Carter, missed. And a layup for Corey Dunning, missed. But it was a foul. Foul is on TJ Smith. Ooh. Long miss to the right for Corey Dunning. And another miss. 0 for 2 at the line. Smith secures the board. 30 to 33. Wolfpack have the lead. As Smith gets fouled, shot won't count. Eight fouls on each team right now. So both teams locked in on defense. But both teams also struggling at the free throw line. TJ Smith misses one. Luke Ladner in the game for the first time. As Smith hits the second of two free throws. 34-30. Ladner, the son of Coach Jay Ladner from Southern Miss. Getting his first action of the season as a foul is called on Tensley Aldridge. It's going to be his first foul. As subs come in for the Wolfpack. I would assume Aldridge is checking out. Milan Mejia checks out. Andrew Fava back in. And Miles Burns as well. Rayshon Mart at the line for Xavier. The senior from Homa, Louisiana. Misses the first of the two bonus shots, so Wolfpack will get the rebound and take over. Teammates weren't anywhere close. I assume he probably doesn't miss those often. Ladner gets it to Burns, and Burns has to fight for it. It's gonna be a jump ball. So 
possession stays with the Wolfpack. TJ Smith, top of the arc. Burns with the pick, Matura with the three. And that is good, the third three of the game for Matt Matura. He leads the Wolfpack with nine points. As far as the players that are on the court now, Eddie Burgess also with 11. Or, never mind, he only has six. There's a discrepancy between the stats and the scoreboard. P.J. Smith draws a foul. Ed Carter, number five, picks up his first. Largest lead of the game for the Wolfpack right now as TJ Smith heads to the line. Thirty-seven thirty. See if he can extend it, and he does. And <laughs> I don't think anybody realized that it was <laughs> more than one shot. Still in the bonus. He'll be in the double bonus in the next foul if it happens in the next three minutes. Smith drains the second of two free throws, and Wolfpack have a pretty comfortable lead right now, 39 to 30. Ball is stolen away. Miles Burns, and he finishes it. 11 point lead for the Wolfpack, largest of the game. On the exclamation point from Miles Burns. Two pointer, no good from Jones. Rebound goes to Burns. In fact, we're running in transition, but they had to slow it down. Matura is going to throw it to Ladner. He shoots the three, no good. Three-pointer that time from Jones. Good. So Xavier cuts the lead back down to single digits. 41-33. TJ Jones, 11 points, or 11 on his jersey. Six points. Both of them threes. Smith sets the pick. Ladner gets it inside to Miles Burns. He wanted the shot. Andrew Fobble shoot it. He misses. And TJ Smith... Got a foul on the box out. The second foul on Smith, so he will check out of the game. Eddie Burgess coming in. be a one and one for number 20 Corey Wells and he misses Wolfpack really getting some good fortune on the free throws Ladner Matura Fava and here's Burns with all the room in the world Andrew Fava gets it blocked and that is not something he normally does. Normally a three-point shooter. Matt Matura is going to throw it in. Eddie Burgess got the ball. And time continues to wind 
on the shot clock. It was at 10 seconds, now it's seven. So not a lot of time for the Wolfpack to run a play here. Burgess on the outside, he's gonna shoot. Two pointer, no good. Not his usual forte. Three pointer, TJ Jones, no good. Rebound, Burns. Three rebounds for Miles Burns so far. Burns, the step back move, gets it to Matura and an offensive foul on Miles Burns. Second one called on him. And Wolfpack are in foul trouble right now. All of their main players are two fouls or more. Here's TJ Jones, the facilitator for the team. And a turnaround shot, no good from Wells. Ladner, three pointer, spot up, no good. Not having luck from the line so far. Ball is stolen, it was Ladner, I think. Wasn't sure if he actually poked the ball out or if it was just lost. Three-pointer then is no good, and the Wolfpack will have the last shot of the game for the first half. Eight-point lead for Loyola. Matt Matura trying to run something up here. Burgess, hook shot, good. Clock is running, and it will run out on Xavier. A 10-point advantage for the Wolfpack heading into halftime. Eddie Burgess leading the way with 11 points. I was clearly speaking, <laughs> predicting the future earlier when I said he had 11. He has 11, Matt Matura has nine, and an overall fantastic start in the first half for Loyola. The Wolfpack 43-33. Shooting 50% from three point land. 61% from the field. And a really important development, nine for 12 on free throws. Take a break.
we are back at the den. <laughs> Round two of this heavyweight knockout <laughs> between the Wolf Pack from Loyola and the Gold Rush from the visiting Xavier School. Just a few minutes away. Head down, Carrollton, and there they are. Wolf Pack had a fantastic first half performance. And they now hold a 10 point lead. As the <laughs> second half begins pretty much as the first half went. Another foul, this one on TJ Smith, his third. So you just don't want to pick up that fourth foul. Smith with two personals in the first half. As did most of the team, really. Smith, Miles Burns also with two fouls. Zach Wrightsill had two as well. We think Tim Cameron had two, but he's listed as only having one. Two free throws go in for Trenton Mitchell, who started out hot but didn't really do anything since then. Andrew Fava gets hammered. No foul is called, but he hits the three anyway. Largest lead of the game for the Wolfpack, 11 points. It's 46-35, and it's the first bucket of the season for Andrew Fava, who may or may not break the single-season three-point record. That is certainly what he is going for, as he did last season. Of course, this season's a little shorter than last one. But there's still about 20 games to go. Last season, he was averaging six threes a game, as T.J. Smith has called for the offensive foul. Had Fava behind him. Andrew Fava, a transfer from the University of Florida. Here's a fun fact. He helped to tie an NCAA record as the Gators had nine different players hit a three against North Florida. Xavier looking for some offense, and they find it. That was Ed Carter, number five. Sharp shooting combo guard from Detroit, Michigan. He shot 50% from three last year, but Xavier is probably gets the ball knocked out. He really got fouled there. And the ball is going to head back to Loyola. 16 seconds on the shot clock. It's a nine-point game. Burns to Matura, he's in the corner and he drains another three, his fourth of the game. So much for Andrew Fava setting the record. How about Matt Matura? 12 points, all of them are on threes. He stepped up big in the absence of Andrew Fava last season and he looks to have the confidence carried over to this year. Led the team in three pointers with 70 on the year as that one is blocked. And the Wolfpack take over possession. Burns is going to take the ball down. There's not really a point guard on the floor right now. Everybody kind of shares ball handling duties. Here's Burns. Matura is probably the closest thing you have to a ball handling guard right now. As Right, so gets it to Fava. He shoots a three, and it's long, but it's in. The three-point barrage has begun for the Wolfpack as they go up by 15 points. TJ Jones and a wide open three-pointer. He set up, and that is a good shot for Rayshon Mark. Can't get let him have that look. Only shot 22% from three last year, but he has improved certainly this year. 52 to 40 is the lead as Xavier calls a timeout. 30 second timeout, we'll be right back from the den.
Wolfpack back on the floor and with the ball. Matura gets it to Miles Burns. He's triple teamed. And Andy Burgess is going to take it in. And he gets fouled. Interesting strategy of Xavier to just swarm every single ball carrier for the Wolfpack. Almost worked. And ended in a foul inside. Burgess is going to take it again. As the swarming strategy seems to have stopped. And that is not a good idea when you're playing against Zach Reitzel. Eight points for the junior. from Prosper, Texas. And that is pretty much what he does. If he gets close to the basket, he is normally going to make it. As Burns, he's going to check out after picking up his third foul. But one good thing about this team is depth. Tim Cameron comes in, and really there's no drop-off in talent at all. And you sub in more ball handling and shooting. And the athleticism stays about the same. Cameron was a good addition from High Point University last year. As that shot is good. Rayshon Mart is heating up. Ten points now. Cameron to Burgess. And an easy shot for the six foot nine Eddie Burgess who we regret to inform you did not end the first half with 11 points. That was a scoreboard error. Now he is in the double figures. He only had eight in the first half, and there's points nine and ten. Three-pointer is way off. Doesn't even hit the rim. And Wolfpack run the other way. Tim Cameron. He got stopped. And gotta give credit to the Xavier defense for locking down, but they haven't been able to close the gap. Dribble pull up. Fava no good. And heads the other way. Kai Richard drives against Fava and he misses. Wolfpack did just enough to bother him. There's Fava again. He's not going to shoot that one. He's going to give it to Cameron. And the ball was almost stolen. It's poked out by Ed Carter, number five. Carter's going to check out. Cam Dumas checks in. TJ Jones out. Burgess, top of the arc. Not where he's comfortable exactly. Tim Cameron gets the mid range, no good. And it'll head the other way. An 11-point lead still for the Wolfpack, 56-45. Three-pointer does not go in, but it doesn't count. And a foul goes on Tim Cameron. That is his third. Only listed as having one foul. So it's either his second or third foul. He's going to stay in the game either way. Senior Rayshon Mart, number three. He's going to pick up point number 14 there, and he leads all scores. He has scored a lot so far this season. He had 26 in the game against Southeastern Baptist, or that was in the William Carey game. He had 27 against Southeastern Baptist. 26 against William Carey. And he's about halfway there right now. Foul goes on Xavier, Makai Richard.
Cameron getting it to Reitzel. He's going to drive. Layup was no good, but Eddie Burgess cleans it up. And now Eddie Burgess and Matt Matura, two newcomers last year. They're tied for the team lead in points with 12 each. It's a two-pointer, no good for Mark. Cameron with the rebound. Tim Cameron definitely has point guard abilities as a tall combo guard. Burgess gets it stolen away. It was a bad pass, but he is trailing, and that is not a good idea. To try to lay it up against Eddie Burgess. It's not going to be a block, unfortunately, for him. but there was no way he was going to allow that shot to go in. Foul goes on Eddie Burgess, his first. And the first shot goes in at the line for Makai Richard, number two. Tim Cameron's checking out. The Wolfpack going a little bit small right now at least at the guard spots. Tensley Aldridge is in, Matt Matura, Andrew Fava. And the forwards are Reitzel and Burgess. Shot is good. Rayshon Mark checks out. And this is the time you have to pretty much take advantage. Xavier's not gonna have the offensive firepower they once had. Tensley Aldridge, he's gonna travel. As he got double teamed and it worked. Dumas, layup good. Xavier has two tiny guards in there right now. And Pretty much ma matching up with the Wolfpack personnel, and it's going to be an offensive foul. It's going to be the third foul on number 20, Corey Wells. One thing you may not be able to see on the stream right now is the fact that there are a lot of Xavier fans in the building. You maybe see behind the basket there are a few, but also half of the stands. There's an excited crowd in here today. Right to the father. Tensley Aldridge, he drives, gets fouled. And the Xavier crowd does not like that. All of the energy and momentum currently rides with the visitors. They are down seven. As foul number three goes against number 11, TJ Jones. Mature to Wrightsville. He drives. He gets fouled. Shot will not count. And it is going to be foul number four on Corey Wells, who has not had the best game from a production standpoint. Only two points, four fouls. Right still at the line. First shot is good. Zach Reitzel just 51% at the free throw line last year. And that one is not going to count. Eddie Burgess committed the foul. Or the lane violation, rather. Andrew Fava checks out. Miles Burns back in. So you substitute athleticism in for shooting. Cam Dumas wanted to take the three. Instead, it'll be a three on the other side for TJ Jones, who drains it. 
Lead is cut to five. Closest Xavier has been since the first half. Right to Matura, back to right so He gets a traveling call. And we are in the den, but it sounds like a home court advantage for Xavier with all the fans that are in here. Of course, everyone is properly socially distanced. But as you see, we've got a few more bleachers out than normal. The ball goes ricocheting around the court. And it's going to be a layup for Makai Richard. And as Xavier inches closer and closer. Media timeout coming soon, and it could be a blessing for this Wolfpack squad. Aldridge drives. Puts it up. No good. Xavier with a chance to tie right here. There's Rayshon Mard up and under and good. One point lead for Loyola. And we might be seeing a timeout soon from Stacey Howell, if not from the scoreboard itself. Media timeouts are at under 12 minutes and under six. And an offensive foul called on Zach Reitzel. Eleven oh four on the clock, and we once again have a close game, 59-58. We'll take a break. Reitzel picks up his third foul. We'll be right back on the Wolfpack Network from the dead. Game getting somewhat out of hand for the Wolfpack, <laughs> even though they remain in the lead. We'll see if they can calm things down a bit after that timeout. On the court for the Wolfpack, as that three is no good for Rayshon Mark. Eddie Burgess, he's the center. We got Miles Burns and Zach Reitzel and Tim Cameron, as well as Tensley Aldridge, who's wide open in the corner right now. Or at least he was. Cameron takes it, he falls, and Aldridge picks it up. A good heads up play from Tensley Aldridge. Otherwise, that was about to be a turnover. Or it might be a little slippery. That's exactly where Zach Wrightsell hit the deck. Back to a three point game as Aldridge picks up another foul, his second. <laughs> the 
what's kind of crazy is the Wolfpacker is still shooting 63% from the floor. As the first free throw, no good. Wolfpack, seven fouls already. As Cameron gets hacked going to the line. This is a chance for Tim Cameron to get his first points of the game. He is so far 0 for 2 from the floor. Two fouls, three assists, three rebounds. It's going to be the third foul on Kevin Norman. And another foul. This time on Makai Richard. So Richard checks out. So I misspoke earlier when Tim Cameron did not go to the line, although he was in the act of shooting. Now Tensley Aldridge tried to go <laughs> shoot free throws. Now the referees deliberating amongst themselves. And it will be back to Tensley Aldridge. Aldridge so far, three for five, six points. And the first shot goes in. Both teams with 17 fouls. Last year, compared to the team, Tensley Aldridge is a decent free throw shooter. 71%. And now the Wolfpack employing the full court press. Four point advantage for the home team. The crowd has quieted down a little bit. There's the big man matchup, Mitchell and Burgess. And it is won by Burgess. Burns gets the rebound. And he's going to get fouled. This one's going to go on TJ Jones. And that is his fourth. Eight team fouls on Xavier. And we see our first true trou foul trouble for either team. T.J. Jones, the point guard. As that shot goes in, Miles Burns. Doing okay on free throws. That's his 10th point of the game. So far, three for five from the line. Second shot also goes through. Back up to a six point advantage for the Wolfpack. After things were really getting out of hand for a bit. Cam Dumas comes in, gets the ball to Norman and ball skirting around, eventually getting into the basket. Ray Sean Mark. The game's leading scorer right now at 18 points. I'm sure he'd like to get up to his season average of about 26 and a half. Here's Burns. No good, but good cleanup job, Eddie Burns. Eddie Burgess, rather. I guess you could call that an Eddie Burns combination of the two players. Burns laid it up. Burgess cleaned it up. 14 points for the sophomore. Cam Dumas gets it to the corner. Now Dumas is going to shoot the three, missed. Offensive board, and it's going to be a foul. Rayshon Mart heading back to the line. It's going to be Eddie Burgess with his second. Pretty much everyone on the Wolfpack either has two or three fouls right now. Leading score last season and this season so far for Xavier. As he misses first free throw. 
Juan Mejia checks in for Miles Burns. Second free throw for Mart goes in. And it is a five point game. Mejia and, and Tensley Aldridge are the guards, along with Tim Cameron. Zach Reitzel and Eddie Burgess are also in the game. Burgess, hook shot, no. Usually that has been money in this game as Aldridge comes up with the steal. Tensley Aldridge, no good. And a foul. It'll be Wolfpack possession. I believe the foul was on Mart. And that's just a testament to how well he's played as that's his first foul in a game where there have been several. Tensley Aldridge is going to be the one shooting. Went one for two from the line earlier. Junior from Denham Springs, Louisiana. is not going to be shooting the three free throws. <laughs> Tim Cameron and Tensley Aldridge have done a switcheroo on the last two attempts at the line. So instead, it's going to be the first trip for Tim Cameron, who picks up his first point of the game. And that's kind of surprising. Tim Cameron last year led the team in points per game as he misses the second. Tried to get his own board. Instead, it'll go to Loyola. There's about three Xavier players, one in the middle of all of them, and one out of bounds. Tim Cameron averaged 15 and a half points per game last year. As Burgess goes inside, and that is too easy for Eddie Burgess, who is using his size effectively. 16 points for the sophomore. 69-61, the Wolfpack have pulled ahead a little bit with about seven and a half minutes to go in this one. Cam Dumas gets it inside. Mitchell, no good, he got blocked by the rim. Aldridge slips, gets the ball out, and it is stolen by Cam Dumas. That's good. Dumas had Rayshon Mart trailing, and that's going to be money most of the time. 21 points for the leading scorer for the Gold Rush. Six-point game. Burgess, top of the arc, gets it to Milan Mejia. See what he can do with it. The freshman got it fouled, and it's going to be two shots as the Wolfpack are in the double bonus. And Kevin Norman picks up his fourth foul. He's got eight points so far. Went on that tear early in the game and ever since then hasn't exactly been as great. Milan Mejia comes in as a, primarily a shooter. It's an All-State honorable mention. An All-Metro team player in Baton Rouge during his high school days the only freshman on the team only newcomer everyone else was here last year but he seems to be getting along just fine knocks down the first one Andrew Fava actually told me that Milan's going to be a pretty good shooter pretty good big part of the team in the future No shot there. Rashawn Mart one and an one. It's going to be another foul, I believe, on 
Mejia does at the second. It's better him than one of the other starters. Free throw, first one goes in. Both teams will be shooting in the double bonus the rest of the way. Two shots on any foul that is not offensive. And that one also goes in. 23 points for Mart. Xavier's gonna call another timeout. Five point advantage for the Wolfpack at 70 to 65. Six and a half minutes to go. We'll be back from the den. Tim Cameron brings the ball in. He's the primary ball handler right now. Aldridge and Mahir are the shooters surrounding him. And then he has Zach Reitzel and TJ Smith back in the game. Aldridge, no good, and Smith got fouled. Foul is gonna be number two on Rayshon Mark. About six minutes left in the game, you would assume he's fine in terms of foul trouble. TJ Smith, who was practicing free throws before the game, hits the first one. And hits the second one. How about Smith, seven for eight from the line in this game so far. A huge improvement compared to last year. Seven points. All coming from the free throw line. And it is hard to stop him if you don't foul him. That was generally the strategy in the past. It was basically a bowling ball. Knocking down all the pins of the defenders. I think Cameron's going to pick up the foul on that one. Nope. Mejia picks up his third. And going back to the line is Rayshon Mart. who has had a fair number of his points come from the line so far. So we had another scoreboard discrepancy, it looked like. According to our stats, he has now 29 points, surpassing the first two games. 10 for 15 for Mart. Second one misses. That's one area he's struggled this game. This is three free throws so far. Right till the camera, and he's going to try to set up the offense. Now Aldridge drives. No foul. Missed the shot. Coming the other way. He pokes the ball out. Good heads up play on defense from the freshman. He's going to stay in there, and that's going to be the media timeout, so maybe he won't stay in there. Looks like Fava and Miles Burns are coming back in after the break. Final media timeout of the game. We'll take
Back at the den, the starters, minus Zach Reitzel, are in as he gets a break. And a miss. <laughs> it was an alley oop attempt. And that is no good. Corey Dunning was the one. Ended up missing that one. Ed Carter. Inside layup is good. Tinsley Aldridge and Tim Cameron. There are the guards joined by TJ Smith and Miles Burns. So Zach Reitzel and Matt Matura, who's about to check in. They were on the bench. Smith got blocked. Dave, you're running the other way. Only down four points and a three-pointer. No good. Is way off. Layup was also missed, and Cameron gets the board. Tim Cameron to Fava on the outside. Three-pointer, no good. That would have been a huge shot for the Wolfpack. You can feel the energy in the arena right now. Here's Rayshon Mart. Drives in and it lost it, but it's going to be out of bounds. And an offensive foul on Rayshon Mart. Kind of just barreled head first into the lane, picking up his third personal in the process. Andrew Fava is going to check out of the game. Tensley Aldridge stays in. So Aldridge, Matura, and Tim Cameron of the guards joined by Smith and Miles Burns. Tim Cameron, oh, he's 6'4", he's really playing as a point forward in the NAIA. He was named to the all-tournament team last year in the SSAC tournament as the guy who initiated all the offense. Cameron picks that one off, gets it to Matura in the corner. He gets the three up, but it's no good. It was missed and a foul. Foul goes on the former Wolfpack guard, Cam Dumas. Xavier Crowd does not like that. Fava back into the game. And I believe Eddie Burgess is going to come in as well. Tim Cameron checks out. Matt Matura also headed to the bench immediately following the air ball. Started off the game hot, four for five from three, and I guess when you ride the bench for that long, it's hard to get back into the rhythm. So Tim Cameron's back in, as Tensley Aldridge nails the first of two free throws. Burgess and Burns, the forwards. Surrounded by a bit of shooting. And good job from Aldridge. Sunk both of the free throws. It's back to a six point advantage for the Wolfpack. Tensley Aldridge, seven points a game last year. And he's got over that average now. Two pointer was missed by Corey Dunning. Wolfpack head the other way, and the ball is poked out of bounds. Loyola possession, we think. Baseline referee wasn't sure. Three thirty-five to go. Both teams are in the double bonus. And Cameron's gonna toss the ball in to Eddie Burgess. Here's Burns. Haven't heard from him in a while. And they're gonna give him continuation on that? An NBA move. Miles Burns with the and one. 76 68, and Burns has a chance to make it 77. Eleven points for the junior. 
Make it 12. Actually, make it 14. The scoreboard didn't update yet. Eddie Burgess has 16. Burns with 14. Most of those coming in the first half. He knew he was going to get off to a good game when he hit that three early in the game. That's a three. No good. And Tim Cameron's running down the floor. He had to bobble it. <laughs> Eventually got the ball up. And it is good. Wolfpacker back to a double-digit advantage. 79-68. And Xavier with the basket. It's going to be a timeout. Zach Wright will hit the floor. And you hope he's okay. And he is. I think the timeout came before Xavier hit the bucket. So they will stay at 68 points and will take a quick timeout. Nope, there it is, 70 points. It'll be 79-70 with just under three minutes to go here in this one. We'll be right back. Back of the den with about three minutes left on the game clock. Tim Cameron, Zach Wrightsville, Miles Burns, Andrew Fava, and Tensley Aldridge. Those are the five for the Wolf Pack. Fava gets it into Wrightsville. Had to make an acrobatic catch. An acrobatic rebound and an acrobatic shot. It goes in to give the Wolfpack an 11 point lead. And Zach Reitzel now up to double figures. He has 11 points. Eddie Berger with 16. Miles Burns with 14. Makai Richard no good. But he gets his own rebound. Puts it in. 10 points for Richard. Xavier's hanging around. Wolfpack trying to put him away. Miles Burns on the outside. Gets it to Aldridge. His first three-pointer is no good. Good open look. And a turnover. Miles Burns ends up with it. I don't think we've mentioned yet that Miles Burns has the school record in both career assists and career and season assists. 85. I totally said the wrong thing. Steals, not assists. Although he's good for <laughs> occasionally moving the ball around. 85 steals in his first season with the Wolfpack. 81 last year, and he was hurt most of the season. So good job from Miles Burns. Who I think got another steal right there. As the intentional fouling begins. It's four on Rayshon Mart as Tim Cameron's going to head to the line to shoot two. And if the Wolfpack can continue what success they've had at the free throw line in this game, then they can 
put this one away. 20 from 26. And I am sure that Coach Stacy Hollow likes those numbers. First one goes in for Cameron. Back to a 10 point lead. I mean, you would see games in the past where they would miss 26 free throws. This is a great improvement for the team. Cameron now with four points, trying to make it five. And he does. Five points, four, six, four assists, six rebounds for Tim Cameron. As Makai Richard misses, gets his own rebound, puts it back up, but he gets fouled by Miles Burns, and that is his fourth. For Xavier, that's exactly what they want is to stop the clock. But clearly running out of time, down 11 points with 1.16 to go. First shot from Richard is good. Come in for Tensley Aldridge, possibly for shooting purposes. Although Aldridge has done a pretty good job at the line, and then also he seemed a little flustered earlier on double teams and triple teams, and you've got to imagine that Xavier's going to try to press right here. Timeout is called by Xavier. It's a full timeout. So we're going to take a quick break, about a minute, and we'll be back from the den. Right, so he's trying to get it to one of his shooters. Mejia gets it. And he's going to turn it over. Dumas picked it up. And a layup, good. Makai Richard. Another timeout from Xavier as they stop the clock. Richard, 14 points. And another full timeout. Xavier still has one timeout left, but a minute on the clock. Still running out of time. Seven point lead for Loyola. See if they can hold it when we come back.
One timeout left for Xavier. One minute, seven seconds left on the clock. And Milan Mejia throws a touchdown pass to Miles Burns. He gets fouled and pushed out of bounds, hitting the bleachers. Foul is on Makai Richard, number two. It's his third foul. And now Miles Burns is going to have to do whatever he's done the last few free throw trips. He's five for seven in this game. And that's really been the advantage for the Wolfpack. First shot straight through the net. As Rayshar Mart back into the game. He's been in for a while. A few subs come in. Gary Smith among them. He hit a three earlier. Or he tried to. Wow. What a play from Zach Reitzel. The free throw missed, but it didn't matter. Offensive board and put back from Reitzel, and that should just about do it for the Wolfpack. Three-pointer is no good. Tim Cameron gets the board, and he gets fouled. 49 and a half on the clock. And a 10-point advantage, potentially more, after this free throw trip from Tim Cameron. And the free throws are... Certainly the difference in this game. Wolfpack have hit 22, Xavier has hit 12. Now 23. But that is the exact difference. Wolfpack now with an 11 point lead. Xavier's also missed seven, so that is that could have put them in the game. They've missed some key free throws and key moments. Three pointer, no good. Cameron with the board. And he gets fouled. That is foul number five on Rayshon Mark, who ends the game with 31 points, nine boards, three assists. Eddie Burgess was also in there for rebounding purposes. First shot, good for Tim Cameron. He may end up with 10 points by the time this game is over. Second one also good as bodies hit the floor. Eight points for Tim Cameron. Almost all of them coming at the free throw line. As Cameron gets fouled, Miles Burns Really wanted that block. He'll just have to settle for a win, I suppose. 14 point lead for the Wolfpack. It's the third foul on Cameron. And this one is just about over. Richard hits the, both of the free throws. Ends up with 16 points as Andrew Fava has the ball. And going to get it to Cameron. Goodness. It's an arm bar from Xavier. Miles Burns gets fouled. I'm sure he would have rather get a dunk or a layup rather than go back to the free throw line. And Xavier extends this one a little bit farther. Third foul on number 30, Gary Smith.
first free throw missed for Miles Burns. But he's certainly above his average on free throws. Misses the second and brings him back down to his average. But he still hit a pretty key free throws throughout this game. Another difference, though, is the three-pointers. Both teams right around the same number as Milan Mejia gets fouled. Loyola went 7 for 15 from beyond the arc. 47%. Whereas Xavier shot 32%. 8 for 25. Loyola also... On field goals, 55%, 28 for 51, whereas Xavier was much lower at 42%. And yet, without all the free throws, this would be a lot closer game. And that is due to Loyola's turnovers. It's Milan Mejia hits the second one. That's his first point of the game. 19 turnovers for Loyola compared to just nine for Xavier. I'm sure Coach Hollowell is going to want to crack down on that in the future. Eliminate some of those turnovers. Dumas misses at the buzzer. It's going to be a double figure win for the Wolfpack. 91 to 80 is the final score. Everyone who played except for Luke Ladner scored. But he played a pretty strong role as well as the end of the, at the end of the first half. Eddie Bird just led the way with 16 points, six boards, made both of his two free throws. Seven for nine from the four for Burgess. Miles Burns, also important, 15 points, eight boards, four assists. Hit that one three early, and that really got the team going. Zach Reitzel also in double figures, 13 points, seven rebounds, two assists. And a slew of players with nine points. Tim Cameron, Tensley Aldridge, and T.J. Smith each had nine points. Tim Cameron also four assists, eight boards, and seven for eight on free throws. Pretty much all of them coming in those final few minutes. For Xavier, Rayshon Mart had 31 points, nine rebounds. But it was not enough. As the Wolfpack, in their first game of the season, defeat Xavier. 91 to 80. They'll move to 1 and 0 on the season. Xavier falls to 2 and 1. Wolfpack are going to take a quick road trip to Alexandria, Louisiana, take on LSU A, and then Dillard. They're going to come to the Den, 7 p.m. on November 19th. As of now, barring any scheduling changes, Loyola will be taking on Dillard, who is ranked just outside the top 10 in the NAIA. And then it's a Wolfpack weekend. Southeastern Baptist is also going to play November 21st. So Thursday and Saturday, two weeks from now, Dillard and Southeastern Baptist. That's going to be the next time you see me up here. You see the for a men's basketball game at least. Next time we'll be in the den. It'll be women's basketball on Tuesday. I'm not sure if we're going to broadcast that one or not but I will be here for swimming next weekend as well. That one coming at noon. That'll do it from the den. I'm Jason Quigley. Thank you everyone for tuning in. 91-80 once again, the final score. Loyola moving to 1-0 on the season.